More than 40 million Americans have already cast their votes. That includes record early turnout for midterm in Georgia. Nicole Killian is in Atlanta. Nicole, good morning. What is the picture like there? Hey. Hey, good morning to you, Nate. And with so many critical races here, voter turnout for the midterm elections has hit an all-time high with more than two and a half million Georgians voting early. Right now, the Georgia Senate race is in a virtual tie with polls showing no clear leader emerging before Election Day. In their closing arguments, Republican Senate nominee Herschel Walker made no mention of allegations from two women that he paid for them to have abortions. Instead, his message has focused on tying Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock to President Joe Biden. Warnock was joined on the trail this weekend by Spike Lee. The senator has defended his record and says Walker is not fit to serve. Tonight, Walker and Republican Governor Brian Kemp will hold events in the same city, but it's not clear if they'll make a joint appearance. In fact, they have not campaigned together at all in recent weeks. Kemp holds an edge in his rematch against Stacey Abrams, who is seeking to become the first black female governor in U.S. history. History. If no candidate gets 50% of the vote tomorrow night, then a runoff election will be held in December. Gail? All right, we are all watching. Thank you, Nicole.